Hello everyone and welcome to my Ravens and Expert Solo Budget Guide with some commentaries. So today we are going to clear the map, the 4 player map Ravens End on Expert difficulty and we are going to do this alone. And we are going to use mainly Frost and Fire cards and for the last fight we're just going to throw in some nature cards um why can i do this because you get like 12 different orbs on this map so you have you can even play quad shadow cards if you want so the most important part will be getting to tier 4 and then you can start clearing up all the map this is going to take the most time so first getting here uh, on your side, getting your tier 4 and then clearing up. And then you have your end fight. And let's just jump straight into the game. I will also comment on what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And since it's a live play, I hope I'm not doing a lot of mistakes. So our first part is to get to this army gate operator as fast as we can to switch it and seal off this passage so the enemy starts going around and detect the bandits. And we have to do this pretty fast because if we are too slow we get attacked and then we just kind of screwed because we have to defend all the time against T3 units and this is, isn't easy. So let's drop some Master Archers. We are on a budget so we don't have like Frost Mages which are really exceptional on this map in the early game. But Master Archers are good enough. After the buff they deal a lot of damage. Okay, let's pull the enemy. Enemy doesn't like us, okay. Let's give him a reason. So just sh shooting them in the face is really helpful. And then we're gonna focus down the other small unit because we have a small counter. We should f always focus down the units we can kill the fastest. And then we put our damage units back so we don't lose any dudes and can just heal up. It's faster to just heal them up than to wait for the Oh, we kind of lost a dude, I'm not even sure why. Uh, because if you have to, to kill your squad and then you have to wait until the void gets back and this, this takes longer than just to heal them. Losing one isn't a big deal. Now we have summon a, a tank. This one deals then more damage so we we pull him away from the Hella and then start killing the this one and then we taunt and we were a bit slow he rebuffed the shield but it's okay you're going to kill them fast enough Now we kill this one. Now we get back. We have like one or two more minutes. We will have to focus this one first. The stone skin fiend. Let's see, I'm not sure about the timing. I think they start spawning at the fourth minute or something. So let's let's go. And clear this out. Yeah, that's fine. Still dealing a lot of damage even if it's split. Okay. Let's pull them to us and we're gonna freeze the ground units so we can focus down Crystal Fiend. 
I will taunt it so it doesn't perma shockwave my guys. Okay, now we send one squad to trigger the army gate operator. Just need to get near it. Okay, this was an, the, mo the first most important part to get the sealed. And because the first wave is already on the way. And now we clear this up. I'm gonna lose this one, it doesn't matter. Um, now we want to go to a tier 2 because we don't wanna have to deal with the Raven Scout ship. We can, we have Northern Keeps. So if you have to slow, we're just gonna pro send it back one time. Without fire, this one is a real pain. Um, you have two options, either you use a fast unit and just run around it, so just shoot at your unit and doesn't hit it. Let's do eight units. And we have to get rid of these first, but I guess we are too slow. That's fine, we can take our time. I will just set up two, three, let's set up three. Now nah, maybe three, if you do three, we don't have enough energy, do we? I mean, we have, we have a bit of time because it starts hitting the shredder first. Yeah, let's do three. This is still in the field, so it can move a bit. Let's stack him, so even if you don't have the buff, the damage isn't is spread um, among the units. Okay. What does the invoke do? Will we force? We cannot control anymore. So if it tries to go back, we will just. In, uh, provoke it. And now this one is gone. And these will soon start attacking the camp. The spawns, not the... these units. Okay. Now it's um, otherwise if you are fast enough and get to your tier two, you can spawn a storm singer and then just use the gravity search and pull it to the ground when it tries to escape and then kill it. Okay, we are activating this one. Let's pull it a bit closer. So Ah, oh, they're immune. Good enough. Let's see. We have to activate. Yeah. And then I was <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. It's okay. It just g gets back. Doesn't really matter. We can get rid of it a bit later when we have Storm Singer. So we will focus on our tier two. So first we will pull the razor shards to us and kill them. And then we will take care of the rage flame. This is just for assurance reasons. So let's pull the razor shards first. I mean, everything will come, but only the razor shots will continue to follow you. The snow goes back, and then we can around it, run around in circles. 
because it's only one. No, come here. Yeah, nice. Good, razor shot. If you have a, mil a melee unit in at the razor shot, it can't shoot anymore. So just meleeing. This was part one. We will just freeze this. Right. So we can focus on the razor shot. Because if we take too long, then the other razor shot will respawn. No! It doesn't follow. Oh, now it follows. Okay. Okay, we'll taunt this. So I don't have to come here and just do this. Okay. Let's check. Okay. No control vessel attacking us. Now we can freeze again. And take care of this one. Okay, now we run around and just get it less. And now we taunt. So Stops killing our small units. Mm, this respawned and didn't attack. They attack us, that's bad. We have knockback. Okay, can you stop running after us? Oh, we can get rid of those. So now, no razor shards, we can just go to tier 2. Oh, I have to wait a bit for the scout ship. It's not a big deal. We will have to kill the razor shot again, but now we don't have the knockback tower and we can fight up close. This time I should not forget to taunt it. If I did it right in the first place, I wouldn't have to get back and then defend again. I mean the taunt uh, is for 20 seconds. Okay, let's activate, let's attack. If it gets, if, if it drops to 50%, yeah, now we taunt. Yo, stay here guy. We don't even need the, need the buff. They will survive all. Okay, we don't need to heal up, we try to be fast, so we go up, while we fight, oh nice, we, we, we hit him both, so we dodge. So we kill this guy first. Deals a lot more damage. Ra razor shot is just a bit of knockback. But this one really deals a lot of damage. And we get our fire orb. And now we get rid of The spawner. Still no big waves attacking this camp. I guess they they only start uh, start spawning the big waves after we clear the, this one. And now it's gone. And now we build. Question is, 
do we need to go to tier 2 or we just continue with our master archers? I guess we just use master archers. We have a small counter, a lot of small units. It's fine. And now we take our tier 3. And after tier 3, we're going to take our tier 4 here. Um, we can get rid of this spawner. We can use that termit hill. Uh, we get, have to place it correctly. Like this. So. The, the building is in the circle. Okay. Okay. Can you guys focus? And focus on this one. And now focus on this one. It doesn't matter if I use uh, uh, units. That's what we're here for. Just using a lava field, I have enough energy to get the wells and to spend a bit just to speed it up. Let's get rid of this. We start attacking the spawning building, and it's not enough. As you can see, it doesn't hit, but I know it works, so it's a bit of a tricky positioning. I think it needs to go a bit up north, like this. So we tried this one, let's take a look. I mean, it's not really a problem if it doesn't work. I mean, you, you, you can rotate it and then you, you see if you rotate it. You kind of get more range because you can place it a bit near. Okay, let's get rid of the skies. And now we wait a bit until these spawns get rid of the buildings for us. And we will have to defend this side. And because the, the skies will attack us, and we will use some. Um, like, four skyfires are going to be enough. to defend us, especially from the razor shots. So let's see if this works now. Okay, we, we are hitting the stone skin launcher, but not really the rift. Hmm. Okay. Let's get rid of, uh, take our tier three, we have enough energy stored. Why are you attacking us? Yeah, amazing. Okay, let's see. <laughs> no. Let's do one more try, and if it doesn't work, I don't really care anymore. So, this seems good. Okay, we get rid of this one. We build our third orb, and we want to double fire for unity. And we build our wells, we just use our units to die, and we spawn another drake, because we have to defend with dragons. Now we don't need those guys, and yeah, it doesn't work, I don't care. It doesn't really matter, it just means we have to defend more. So we just need some more dragons. Okay, 
leave my st stuff alone, please. Um, he just ignores me. Okay. Let's help him ignoring me, stopping ignoring me. He will run up to this point and then turn back. I don't know why it's scripted this way, but it is. Good. We set up our defense. And we will get a bit closer, just to making sure our dragons kill the razor shards. And we don't have to take to micromanagement them. And we don't have to be near enough, so these one are untriggered. Okay, now you can kill this one. We get our frost unit. Now we run up and get rid of the spawner. And the air unit and the vent artillery. And we will use termite hills. Because these ones are act as walls, so the units can't shoot through. But your attack will trigger them. So... Okay, these are uh, more higher, so... Oh, I triggered the drake. Let's shoot it down. This is not how it's meant to be. This, let's get back. I should take more care and then just run straight up here. Can you leave me alone, drake, please? Thanks. Let's set up a defense because they will attack with wind hunters. This will get a lot faster after we get our tier 3. Yeah, this is how it works. Now we're going to set up a few termite hills. So we can place it here. We set up three. So we get rid of those two. Yeah, this is the wind hunters. And they're attacking from the side. I don't like this. Oh, but uh, we can use them to our advantage. Now they paralyze our enemies. This is how it should be. Okay, after this one is built, we are going to start and let's go, let's go, let's go, and we just pull down this one, so it doesn't hinder our attack. Okay, now we can get back. We only have one building and we only need one more ant wave termites. Okay, we've done everything we have to, now no, nothing will respawn from the big camp and we won't have to bother for a time. Now let's get one more drake and then we can take out this camp. This one is pretty safe to take over after you, you kill this stuff. Um, we will use... Storm Singer to take one of the shots. Now it's loud, but it's okay. And it's dead. So much stuff going on all the time. Okay, let's pull our unit here, and then we get uh, dragons, we kill this one first. We set it up so we have ground presence and can do this. We don't want to get the big shot in our face, so we kill this one first.
if you start with fire and then you go fire, fire, nature, you can just use the typical Swamp Drake Unity combination. Oh. Let's pu push them again. We don't want to. Now we get use. Uh, we get rid of this one. Just use double unity for damage reduction and healing. Get rid of this one. Get rid of the anti air. Now get rid of the respawn. And then we need to get back to defend this because of the razor shot. And in the next attack wave, you're just going to take this. By the way, we can. Yeah, I know. It's a razor shot. Don't have to tell me. Okay, let's heal up a bit. And then we take this complete side and we take the power wells. <laughs> it does seem that we have a lot of energy, but you have to remember we have to build 12 monuments, so that's like oh, about 4k of energy we have to spend. So we need to take all the wells. This one will defel defend for good. Now. Take over the camp. You know, this one shoots, but it's not fast enough. Does it shoot again? No, okay. Okay. How does it look like? It looks like we need another dragon, so we have eight and we kill the razor shot from the side. Okay. No, oh, my dupe died. Okay. Let's focus on the important stuff. No razor shot, okay fine and we don't want to track this one now take rid of get rid of this one Let's clear this up so we can get our Stormsinger a bit closer and get ground presence for a few spells. Okay, let's double unity them just to make sure nothing dies. towers and kill everything. Always take care of your dragons, you don't want to get your unity run out and then you lose your dragons and then you have to... I mean you, you can also use magma hellers with unity, it works fine too. A bit stronger against wind hunters but dragons are mo more mobile so... Let's heal them up, let's get rid of this one. Now we can get rid of this one and don't forget to defend. The unit is still okay. Let's set another one. And now we can clear out the camp and take out T4. 
and it took us a bit ha half an hour with, with the budget deck and a few mistakes I made in the early game like not killing the scout ship uh, can get now the d4 and then we can get rid of our dragons yeah we wanna have so we can go nature right now and then just get I think nature right now is better We will get one more frost orb here and then one more fire orb some on the right side like here and then we have everything our deck can offer let's see yeah let's activate I don't want to lose any buildings Now I started sending bigger waves, so that's why I lost my IC. Now get rid of this one, please. And you get rid of this one. And you get rid of this tower. We don't need this tower. Let's set another one. Now get rid of this one, so we can take the thing and we can start spawning our dragons. After the next spawn, we will take out the ship and then start going around and taking out everything. Okay, these two should be enough to defend. Uh, I don't need these. Let's take this. Okay, so this is the attack wave. We were waiting for. And also we have regrowth, so our big units are pretty safe. them do a, their job. Mm. Yeah, should be fine. Okay, this is gone. Now I'll get rid of the dragon. Wind hunter dragons. Here it is. I did a bit early. Okay, this is the big wave. Let's help out with a small spell. And let's heal our dragons. As you can see, they're taking care of, ev of everything. You don't have to go to try to break your head against the wall going through the middle you can just sneak from the side and kill everything just give them, them an attack all and they will do their job So we, I will have like 12 dragons in the end because I need some firepower against Blight. And we have 5 dragons now. That's good. And go into here and attack everything. Let's 
check. Yep, please focus. And this guy. that good also you have a lot of chests here you have one chest here you have one chest here no I'm still gonna take here now you can get rid of it get into position Also, we get rid of some of the scout ships with the tool here. Let's heal one more time, this should be enough. And just you throw some spells. You can also use some more XL units if you want. I think the dragons are enough, and now we can attack the big one and use a cold snap. Just to reduce the damage the drakes get. Took us about five minutes to clear the complete site. is going let's do one more okay now we can send back the dragons here get the side and we can build our fire up so we get some more dragons Now you can go up to the right side and take over the other bandit stuff or you can take over the middle and if we take over the middle we don't have any attacks on our base so we're gonna clear up this side. So we stop wasting energy and resources to defend this position. Uh, yeah, nine dragons are enough to clear out everything. We get our yeah, that's good. Give them uh, unity. Uh, oh, this one didn't get unity. Then we have to heal it. So. Uh, it was a bad positioning of, of my. Oh, right, Unity is 8 units and we have 9 dragons, so. I have to set it up like more so, for, so the front line gets it for sure. Okay, this one is uh, really dangerous. Really dangerous. We need Unity 100%. And the healing spell, as you can see, it deals like one trillion damage. We have to kill this and get and get back out of the poison zone it created. But that's the only one we have, so it's fine. Good. Let's rest up the dragons, and then we can continue taking over the, the middle ground so when fighting blight you wanna have eight dragons up here and like four dragons up south because in the north you have all those battleships you have to deal with and they deal a lot of damage and otherwise Mo is gonna take damage and you don't kill blight fast enough and then you just lose units 
this one is the one that absorbs damage. Okay. That's unity. Dice. Just a smooth cleanup operation. No, you have to let one building live. Otherwise, you tr if you destroy all the buildings and you open the central gates, so either either you destroy everything and don't open the gates. But even then, I'm not sure if you tr still trigger the end fight, and that means you have to have twelve orbs. Otherwise, Mo will just die. Because to break him out of prison, you need all the orbs. So we just let like one of these anti-air launcher live. Um, and let's get our new energy wells. Where is it open? It's open here. Yeah, so... Come on, my Storm Singer. I, I, I thought you are swift. Uh, okay, we triggered. Not sure why, but we triggered. Let's build those, let's heal them up. We can already build our second frost orb. And now we just go fire orbs. Your biggest problem here is your unit size, uh, unit count. Because you only can have like 12 XL units for the end fight. And you need uh, some unities. Normally you need also some ground units for presence and just making sure you have enough HP. Other option is to set up a lot of um, buildings. Okay, we they did kill this one, so we have to make sure this one doesn't die or this one doesn't burn. Let's build all the energy. Okay, now we should conserve every spell we have. I hope the fire tribes aren't going to start doing dumb stuff, but I guess they will die on this steep thing anyway, so it's okay. So now let's get another frost, and we have 379 orbs. We need one more, two more, three more, and four. We need to get all the orbs. So let's start clearing with this camp. Oh, it's the fighter come to help. It's just a triggered speech, but nothing happens because we didn't open the gates. Don't forget the chest at the bottom, and we have a chest here. point. Um, can you clear this up please? And you too. Uh, 
So right now, right now, there's no real point taking over more energy wells. I mean, you can. It still takes you about three minutes, but you have like fourteen at this point. Yeah, I guess we can. Just to make sure we we got everything. Everything belongs to us. That's our motto. And yes, this map is a lot easier than Blight. Okay, now... No, 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 we... We just cross through the middle and then take over this side. We have so many dragons, uh, even if something dies, I don't really care. And we can just go back and heal up. So what do we need? We need one more frost orb. I'm not even sure what this is going to be, but yeah. Wait for it. Let's position this one better. Let's get. So we need also a lot of fire dragons for blight. We need the damage they deal. Good, we have 20 orbs. The energy is just running in. That's good. We waited long enough. Time to finish up. Um, I guess I still want one more, so it just gets a lot faster. And let's take over the side. Now we can get back and heal up a bit. Let's just make sure uh, I don't have really to focus on this uh, on this thing. Let me grab my energy well. Oh, it's like just a patrol that runs around. Good. All heal up. Eleven dragons. And let's just finish the last part. We need, of course, one more or fire orb. I don't even think I need spell support for this army. But I will just set up one. Just to make sure, yeah, okay. Wasn't a problem. I can gravity rush one of them. I have to make sure my Storm Singer doesn't die. Let's build more energy wells because I can. Okay, okay, okay. You guys went too far. We have to heal up a bit. Just a little bit. And now I have to make sure this spawn. I think it's a soul hunter and, a, and a, some lancer aren't attacking. On this side. Right. 
don't forget the bandit ship. Okay. And don't push your unit limit now because you need a unit um, up here. I'm not sure if you can. Oh, you can use a building. Okay, never mind. You can use a building to get your presence to click this gate. So we just need to finish the map. Uh, we will use a ward of the north and a healing spell. Let's pull this down. So it doesn't kill stuff. Okay. It's gone. We have respawn, but doesn't really matter. Oh, 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 I forgot. Damn. There is an artillery. Get another one. And now we only have two scout ships left to patrol around. We will have to kill them. Not a fire orb. Let's heal up. Let's see if this one heals. And now we have every orb. Um, we can start setting up our defense at this point. No point setting up really um, tier three towers on the on the north because do you have Raven battleships and scout ships? You, the towers just die after three seconds and don't don't deal a lot of damage. You can use them to get rid of a like give your flying guns a bit more of health but it's not really worth it uh, up at the south you can just use two dragons and a lot of towers because you can focus blight alone let's see let's do it like this and then we can clear out all the fr all three scout ships and get the last chest because we love the gold. And we want this chest. And now we kill this one. And a few of you kill this one. And after we get the chest and those energy wells, also just to tank up some damage. Uh, you can get this one and you can set up like some cannon towers they won't shoot up the air but they will tank some damage for your energy wells and also I have too much energy so okay um, now we take care of this side and then we start finishing the game so we activate both army gates need you anymore thanks for thank you for your service okay and I need one more here so we have more damage on blight okay let's heal up and while this heals up I will activate this gate and this gate so this gate opens and then I will do the same now we send up
Oh, the vessels disappear if you trigger the fire tribe event. Funny. Um. Yeah. Nothing. We're talking, but there's nothing left. <laughs> okay, so I wanna have three dragons on the bottom. This is all going to be our number two and number one. Oh, number one will get rid of all the other stuff. Now we found some towers. Mm. To make this fight easier, I will be freezing them a bit. Also, this one will just die from there. For the maelstrom, I grabbed the chest that I wanted. Now, let's get rid of the last building. Give it a ravage so it doesn't die. Let's use this more. Okay, now you can go defend and we set up another dragon. As you can see, uh, those battleships just crush everything. And that's why we need some support spells. Okay, now we ignore the left side and just focus on this side on Blight. And then after Blight disappears, we make sure to clear up the left side so that Mo lives. Also, after you kill the first raven, uh, bandit ships with the big cannons, uh. oh, he teleports the, the big cannons with you. Okay, good to know. So we just kill them here, and then just just get back and heal up. Hey, amazing, thanks for your help, like, two minutes too late. So it's nearly dead. Now we finish it up. And then he teleports one last time at the, at the south. Yeah, we dealt so much, so much damage. <laughs> the event can't really follow. Okay, time to finish it. And it's done. Good. Also, I will show you in the next video how to get, um, how to use Mono Fire because I think you need this for the achievement. I will check and if yes, I will show you how to get to your tier 3 with Mono Fire. And everything else basically the same. I mainly use tier 2, tier 3 fire to push to tier 4 and then you can just use dragons and batarios and 
other fire units to clear the map. And that's how it's done. Ooh, I didn't have this last this one and I didn't have this one. Sweet. Thanks for watching and bye bye.